Have you joining us right here on the No Zone? I am Janet. And on this awesome day, I am Marara. Ha! And I am Charlie. Now, wait, Marara, I have a question. Have you just learned how to say the word awesome? Yeah! <laughs> Isn't it? Awesome! Awesome! Okay, we get it, Mara, and it's really actually pretty cool that you're brushing up on your English skills. Yes, I have been brushing up, and I can't wait for our brand new word hunt game. Okay, 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 okay. So Mariah can't wait for the word hunt. And that is not all that we have lined up today. But first, let's step into the chill out zone and meet our awesome new friends. Come on. Yeah, you too. Oh, wait, wait. Hello, everyone. Hello. Now, why don't we start by saying a big hello to everyone who's watching us at home. Hello. It feels great to have so many friends to play with. Yes, it does. And you know what? I actually have a question. Now, what's your favorite game that you like playing with your friends? Huh. Hmm, let me see. Oh, I love playing hide and seek. I hide and Jump onto antelope! Oh. Yum, yum, yum! <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Marara, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> you should know that if you eat them, they're not your friends. I don't know, maybe yeah. it's just... But anyway, you know, that's Marara. That's how Marara likes to play. Now, what about our friends in the studio? What about you, Wanjiko? What's your favorite game? Skipping. Hey, hey. skipping. That's a good one. <laughs> Wanja? Hula hooping. Hey, that's a tongue twister. Hula Swag. Hooping. <laughs> you know, Marita, what about you? Playing football. Ah, yeah. This is, he's, he's my friend. He's, he's my your friend. boy right there. And what about you, Kamal? Playing handball. Handball. That's a that's a technical that, sport. That, yeah? That's very technical. I have to repeat. But you know what? It's actually nice to see that all of you are so nice, and we don't have anybody else who is jumping on antelopes and uh, helpless chicken. What, Janet? Yeah. You never know. Maybe someone could be doing that in what is coming up next. There's only one way to find out. Why don't we step into the wild zone? Last week, we watched the kingfisher fishing. Today, we have the cormorant and man fishing. Let's find out who is the best fisherman. <laughs> now, how does the cormorant try to get its food? Off he goes, inside the water, so do you think the shooting will help the... No. No. Yes. 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 Excellent swimmer. Oh, it's found what it's been looking for. Searching, looking around. Ah, I got it. Oh, no. No, no, no. What difficulty. What? Looks like the comrade has got its food. Oh no, it's escaped again. The fish is doing such a wonderful job escaping from the cormorant. Let's hope the cormorant will give it another go because it's been unsuccessful so far. The cormorant is still searching for its food. This is very difficult for you, cormorant. The cormorant is chasing the fish for such a long time. This must be very tiring for the cormorant. Finally, the cormorant has managed to catch the fish. Now the cormorant has caught the fish and it's eating the fish. Must be very, very tired. Oh, poor cormorant. This must be very, very tiring. Tries to go back to the patch, but because it's very tired, falls off. It must be very embarrassing for him. But at long last, finally, he's managed. Ah, there is giving a wave of success. 
to the crowd. Very good, Kamala. <laughs> This oh. is the next fisherman. Who is this? Man. Best fisher. No. 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 Okay, let us see how man goes about getting his fish. This is man fishing in Lake Naivasha. The method of fishing that these men are using in Lake Naivasha is a net method. They are laying out the net in a circle to catch the fish. <laughs> and then they close the circle to make sure all the fish they have caught is trapped. The fishermen must have been very, very successful. At the moment, they are pulling the net out of the water and having a look. The fishermen are just moved to the papyrus to look at the, their catch for the day. Looks very, very heavy. You must have been very successful. Oh, those are many fish, many, many tilapia. They are untangling the fish. Very, very good. Mm, man is almost certainly going to be a winner in this. Good work, man. Those are many fish. I really enjoyed that. Did you love that? Yes! It's time for us to go word hunting. Oh yeah, I love that new holiday game. It's time for the word hunt. <sighs> Hello and welcome to our brand new word game, the word hunt. Now here is how it works. The first player will spin the wheel and a word type will be selected. Well, you could land on either a noun, which is the name of an object, a person, or a place. Or you could land on a verb, which is a doing word. Or an adjective, which is a word that is used to describe something or an action. Now, remember these words, because they are going to be very, very important as we play this game. Now, after your word type has been selected, you have to make your way to the word hunt. Now, it's clearly not as easy as it sounds because, word team, you have to make your way through all these obstacles. Now, of course, it is not that simple. As you can see, there is a tunnel. Now, once you go into the tunnel, you have to come out, go through the small net, come out of the end of this tunnel right over here and pick a word. Now the word has to match the category that you have been given by the wheel. Once you have whatever word it is, you must then go under the net and take the word to Janet. Yes, make sure you do that. Now after your turn, you have to go back to the word team, tag the next member so that they can get ready to spin the wheel. If you all manage to find the words and complete the course before the buzzer sounds, you will win this fantastic dictionary as well as other prizes for your school. Are the rules clear? Yes! All right! Excellent. And for you watching us at home, make sure that you play along and see if you can keep up with our word team. Now, first person to spin the wheel is Kamal. Please step forward. And Kamal steps forward and he spins the wheel which selects the word type mm, of mm. verb noun verb! Yeah, verb. Come yeah. on, come on, through, 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 come on! Yeah, you go, 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 go,
Yes, that's it, that's it. Pick and doing what? That's it, that's it. Pick it, pick it, pick it. Go, 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 go. That is excellent. Come on, go, 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 that's the next team member. And oh, that's a very strong spin there. And it selects the word type of a verb so noun adjective. Uh, no! no I it's a verb! It's a verb! Wait, wait, no, 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 a noun Daddy. is the name of an object, person, or a place. An object, a, a person, or a place. That's a noun. You're looking for a noun. Okay. That's it. That's okay. it. Go, take go, it. Take it. 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 Go, 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 go. Go, go. Go, go, go. Faster, oh, faster. Thank you. Tag the next team member. That's it. Come on, come on, come on. Spin the wheel, spin the wheel. All right. And uh, spins the wheel and selects the category of a verb now wait 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 it's a verb it's a verb come on faster 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 you have to hurry you have to hurry cheer 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 that's it that's it all right all right uh, a verb that's a doing word yes Look for a doing word a doing word Grab it, go, 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 under the yeah. net, under the net, as fast as you can, oh, go, 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 thank you, tag the last team member, all right, all right, come on, spin the wheel, spin the wheel, and spins the wheel, which selects the category of, of, now, 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 a noun. Oh. What is a noun, Mara? A noun is the name of a place, person, or an object. A place, a person, Ooh. or an object. Do you see one? Help him, help him. That's oh, go, 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 as fast as you can. Fast, as fast as you can. And help him before the person is done. You made it right before the buzzer. Ooh. Now let's see how the team did. First person to spin the wheel was come out. You did land on verb. You came back with studying. Is studying a verb or an adjective, boys? Oh. Uh, um, um, um. <coughs> <coughs> studying is studying is uh, not a verb. Oh, it's a verb. Excellent. <laughs> Well done, come out. That's a very good start for your team. Second person to spin the wheel was Wanjiku. You landed on uh, noun. Now you came back with compound. As compound, a noun, an adjective, it definitely isn't a verb. Well, this is actually a noun. It's a noun. <laughs> All right. All right, now the third person to spin the wheel was Wavinya. You landed on verb again. You came back with jumping. Is that correct? Hmm. This one should be easy, people. If jump is jump it's the act of. is a noun, then but jumping <laughs> is a it's verb. Good. Well done. Now let's see if you guys will be lucky enough to walk away with the dictionary. Last person to spin the wheel, sorry there, was Chege. You landed on noun, you came back with orange. Is orange a noun, an adjective? This one is a bit tricky. Uh, oh. Well, if, if, if it's orange the color, oh. or it orange the fruit, or, or so. orange. Come orange on. is not only an adjective, but the fruit is also a hey. noun! <laughs> well done, my team, for getting everything correct. So... Well, as you can see, it's a bit difficult. Some of the words have double meanings. Orange is not only an adjective, orange is also a noun when referring to the fruit. Now, in that case, there are one, two, three, Four correctly selected words, which means this dictionary no longer belongs in the no zone, but belongs to our word team. Congratulations to you and the team. You did very well. Here is your dictionary. Show everyone at home your dictionary. A round of applause. All right, now after all this excitement, we clearly cannot afford to slow down. So let's go and catch up with my speedy on out there.
Hello my friends. Today we are meeting creative artists who are good with their hands. This is a festival called Bizarre Bazaar. Come on, let's go in and have some fun. Wow, this looks so real. Come with me and let us meet the owner. He is very welcoming. Isaac tells Speed that most of the items here are made from recycled materials. These are pumpkins. The body of the pumpkin is made of recycled metal. Look at this, a baobab tree. These are made from iron sheets. What is amazing, baobabs can actually be planted upside down. These birds are made of horns. After the cow is slaughtered for meat, some throw the horns away. But here, Isaac has found a wonderful way of using them. Look! Butterflies! <laughs> Would you believe they are made from metals from old drums? Isaac tells me that it requires someone who is very artistic to be able to recycle metal and cut it into the shape of a butterfly. These bird's carvings are made from brown mahogany wood. The trees are found in Nyanga in Zimbabwe. For their feet, they use wires. Wow, this is just amazing! There are also warthogs, squirrels, dung beetles, and spiders, all of which are made from used drum metals. Look at these spiders! They look wonderful! They have made all kinds of birds. We have models of guinea fowls, red robins, roasters, and owls. We also have other models here like frogs and monkeys. Oh, look! <laughs> we have geckos. It looks so real on the wall. Isaac tells me that they are usually eaten in Zimbabwe. I have learned a lot from Isaac, but I have to move on and see what else I have to see. Hmm, where do I go now? There are a lot of places for me to visit. What do we have here? <laughs> Come on, good people, let's go and see. There are so many Maasai shukas here, and they have many beautiful colors. Look, this is a very beautiful book cover. Look at this amazing work. These are the colors of the flag. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> this is a hat just like mine. I am so excited. That was very beautiful. Let me visit another colorful stall just like this one. And here we have camellias that have very many colors. The camellias have a lot of colors just like my shirt. Look at this one. <laughs> look, look, look. Can you find it on me? <laughs> I know you can't. <laughs> Come on, good people. I think we have time to see some more colorful works of art. This is a very beautiful pair of shirts. I should add this to my clothes collection as well. I'm being told by my friend Lisa that this is a book. It has models of animals like lion, zebra, Hippo, giraffe, buffalo, and a bird. This is just beautiful. So, until next time, goodbye. Maspidi always takes us to these really, really fun places. Yeah, me too. 
Just ask and I'll take you to this really nice, cool place where we go for long walks and some more walks and long walks. Okay, you know what, Maya? We get it and we will take you up on that offer later on because right now we have to go and have fun with numbers. Oh yes, we need to put our brains into gear and get ready for the math fun. It's time to dive straight into the number pool. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time to dive into the number pool and have fun with numbers. Yes, it's diving time and today we are going to be dealing with subtraction. So team, the question to you is, are you ready? Yes! Yeah! All right, so what you have to do is roll the dice. Oh, now, once you have rolled the dice, you must subtract the smaller number from the larger number. Now, if you notice, the dice, which is pink, has numbers that are above six, and the numbers on the dice, which is orange, are all from six down to one. Now, in this case, that would be eight minus one. That's right. Then run into the number pool and find the answer hidden amongst the balls and give that to Janet. That's right. Now, after that, you have to go back to the number team, tag the next team member so that they can go up to Charlie and get to roll the dice. Now, remember, you only have 30 seconds to roll the dice, to figure out the solution, to find the solution in the number pit, take the solution to Janet, and then tag the person who's coming up next to roll the dice like this. <laughs> if you get all the subtractions correct, you can take away these fabulous books back to your school. Yes, you may, and not forgetting that, Marara still has some very special prizes for each one of you. That's right. Now, if you hear this sound, you will know that you are out of time. And for you watching us at home, make sure that you play along and see how many of these sums you can get correct. All right, now, number team, I only have one question for you. Are you ready? Yes! Alright, so let's roll the die. Joki, you're up first. There you go. Here are your dice. Roll it. And she rolls and we oh, have... Oh, oh. Uh, we have 11 and 5. What is 11 minus 5? 1. 11 minus 5. 6. Six. 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 Okay. Roll for five, six. Six. Come on, come five, on. Find the 6. Find the 6. Find the 6. Thank you. Tag the next team member. Tag the next team member. Juguna, there you go. And roll the dice. Juguna rolls and we have... Mm -hmm. oh, oh, all right. Uh, eight and three. What is eight minus three? Help him. Eight five. minus five. 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 And an 11. So what is 11 minus 6? 2. Are you sure? 5. 5. It's a 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. We oh. have 11 and 1. What is 11 minus 1? 10. Find the 10. 10. There's 10. 1 right there. Find Thank 10. you. Thank you. Okay. Find 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 okay. Very fast. And there goes the buzz. Uh, you guys are too fast today. I should just tell you to slow down, but that was very good. Now let's solve this sums. First person to roll the dice was Joki. You rolled 11 and 5. 11 to away 5 is what? Six. You sure? Yes. Oh, okay. What? Okay, easy girl. Let's see if that's what you gave me. And very oh, yes. well done. That's six. Very well done, Joki. I have to insist on that one. Now, next person was in Juguna. You rolled eight and three. Eight take away three is what? Five. Oh, I need you to be sure. Eight take away three is what? Come on, okay, Mara, eight to five. five. Five, is that what you gave me? Because I know that's correct. Did you give me a five? Yes. yes. Okay, let's Ooh. see. Ooh, oh, it's actually... Yeah. <laughs> it's actually very five. You're all getting...
getting a little too fierce. Now, uh, third person, Wanja, you rolled 11 and 6 looks like 11 is the lucky number today. Uh, 11 take away 6 is what? 5. No, I said I need you guys to have confidence. 11 take away 6 is what? 5. Is that what you gave me? Yes. yes. Okay, let's see. I don't have anything. Are you sure you gave me something? Uh, yes. 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 to roll the dice was Marita. Another 11. Maya, what did you do? Because oh, this I, has got to be you. It's, 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 no, did no, you? No, it's, it's All just... All right. It, okay, okay, let's see. Let's, let's, it's okay, easy. Uh, Marita, you got 11 and 1. 11 take away 1 is what? 10. Ten. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did you give me a 10? Yes. You sure? Yes. <laughs> I don't have anything. Are you sure? Uh. Yes. <laughs> No, it's a one. It's a one. No, it's actually it's a, a ten. ten. It is a ten, and I must say, very good work. Come on, for getting all the four sums correct, let's clap for them. Now, four sums correct, and possibly the most <laughs> confident team I have ever seen. True, so, true. Njoki, come on up, team captain. Congratulations, you and your team did very well. Here are your books. Show everyone who's watching at home a round of applause. <laughs> and that is not all. You each get a storybook just for taking part. So come on up and get your storybooks. Come, 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 come. <laughs> I'm scared. Those kids. Those are some strong too, too, too strong, too strong. <laughs> wow, I don't think I've had that much fun watching you do sums ever. It was True quite that. entertaining. Right now, let's let's go and see if uh, Dunya is just as strong as these kids. I'm sure she is. It's yeah. time for Our World. Hello everybody and welcome to our world with me, Dunia. So, we are on to the final chapter of my friend Mwangi's story. Last week, we learned that epilepsy is not contagious or a curse, but simply a medical condition that can be brought on by a head injury like Mwangi's. Let's carry on with the story. What Mwangi didn't know, nor anyone else, nor I, is that epilepsy is not contagious, and it's not a curse. Here's what they should have done. First, call for immediate assistance. Second, move any dangerous items away from the victim. Please move that and that as well. Third, place the patient into the recovery position so that they can breathe easier. Don't worry. You cannot catch anything from anyone who is having a seizure. But do not put anything in their mouth because that might cause damage. Just let it pass and it'll all be fine. But do not go around screaming and panicking because that doesn't really help anyone. Oh, and before I forget, ask the teacher. She'll give you all the information about epilepsy that you need. Generally, the people who develop seizures may have epilepsy and may require medication. The majority of them who do develop these seizures have an epilepsy that can be treated and managed with the right medication. 
Now, it's likely to go away, but that is only if the person has been seizure-free for two or three years. And by then, the medication can be slowly withdrawn and finally discontinued, but only under a doctor's advice and supervision. <laughs> Epilepsy is not a curse. Epilepsy is not necessarily inherited. Epilepsy should not be a barrier to success. Epilepsy can be controlled with medication. Epilepsy can be controlled and it's not contagious. Years passed by and Mwangi continued to live a very normal life. He graduated. And he married his own Miss Kenya. And they had not one, not two. but three children. Mangi's now a successful businessman. And he managed all of this because he had two very important things. First, he accepted his condition. And second, and this is the most important one, he had the support of his friends, his family, and the society around him. Support them. Support us. My name is Nelia Swamboy. Salome Angare. Cornelia Sindeche. Here go, sit down. I'm standard eight. I am in standard six. I'm in class six. I like playing football. I like skipping and I would like to become a lawyer. When I grow up, I want to become a teacher. I want to be a teacher. Thank you. That was awesome! I know what you mean. And Dunia is going to be with us throughout the holidays. Yes, yeah, so do not go away because right now we just have to go on a short break. Oh, good! Then I can go for a long call. Uh, Marara, too much information. We didn't need to know that. Well. Uh, a lion's gotta go when a lion's gotta go. Forget that. Yeah, let's just forget that yeah. and go keep going. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to take a short break, but don't worry, we will be right back because the No Zone has a lot more fun lined up even after Marara's little call. So <laughs> please come back. Welcome back to the No Zone. And my stomach feels much, much better. High five, Charlie. Oh, wait, no. No. What? 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 Mm. what? I, Did you... I, I cleaned my paw with soap and water. Are you sure? Charlie! Do you promise? <laughs> okay, fine. High five. I trust you. I trust you. High five. <laughs> high five! <laughs> okay, are you boys done? Yeah. Are you done? Good, For sure? Alright, now let's get back to the question of the day. We were asking, what's your favourite game that you actually enjoy playing with your friends? And this time we are going to start with Njoki. What's your favourite game? Hula hooping. Hula hooping. Fancy girls in here. Second person is Wavinya. What about you? Catch and catch. Catch and catch. Too much swag, these kids. Oh, yeah. oh, this yeah. were not the names that we were using. Oh, yeah. All right, third person. Shage, what about you? What game do you like playing most with your friends? Football. Football. That's your boy right there. Yeah? You have teammates already. Uh, last person, Jogona. What about you? I like playing tag of war. Tag of war. Mm, you would probably get along with Mara. Oh, probably. Yeah. yeah. Definitely get along with Mara. <laughs> what about you, Janet? Well, you know what, Mara? It's easy for me. I love to shop and just shop. Janet, 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 come on. 
no need to dream of shopping because I am taking you shopping. Ooh, okay. Thank you very much, ma. Okay, well, if you two are going shopping, that means that I have to come along, but you're buying me a pair of sneakers. <gasps> yes? Well, 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 we'll see about that. And you two at home can join in. It's time for... Mara Shopping List! Welcome to Marara's shopping list. Now, I have been given a list by my mom, but I'm not sure if I have the right number of things. Oh, come on now, Marara. You know we are here so that we can help you. Of course, we're here to help you, Marara. Now, the game is very, very simple. Now, Marara's shopping list has four items. That's one, two, three, four. Now, you will help him complete his shopping list by getting more items from the market and putting them into Marara's basket. All right, now after you're done, you have to tag the next team member like this so that they can go up to the market and help you get the next item. But remember, you have to make sure you do this before the market actually closes. That's right. Now, when you help me get my shopping list right, you do not go home empty handed. You get to take away these fabulous books back to your school. Yes, you do. And not forgetting that Marara still has some very special prizes for each one of you. Now, the only question we have is, number two, are you ready? Yes! <laughs> oh, I know that sound. It means that the market is about to close. Up you go, team leader. All right, the first item on the list is eight mangoes. That's eight mangoes. How many mangoes do I have? One, two, three. How many more do I need to make? Eight. Five. Five, go to the back here, come on. The next team member, the second item is 11 passion fruit. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. How many more do I need to make? 11. Six. Come on, come on, come on, fast, 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 fast. Come on, come on, come on, the third item on the list is four oranges. That's four oranges. How many oranges do I have? One. How many more do I need to make? Four. Three. Three. Go to the market. All right. The last item is nine bananas. That's nine bananas. How many bananas do I have? One, two. How many more do I need to make? Nine. Seven. Go to the market. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. has closed Shirley. Let's see how the team did. Well done team, you got there just in time. Now let's see if you managed to complete Marara's list perfectly. All right, here we go. The first item on the list, eight mangoes. Now, Marara only managed to get three mangoes on his own. So how many would you have to add for him to have eight? Five. Are you sure? Yeah. Marara, how many mangoes did the team leader bring you? And uh, counting, one, two, three, four, five. Five, well done, that is correct. <laughs> Excellent. Three plus five is equals to eight mangoes. Well done, first question down. Second question. Now, Marara needed 11 passion fruit. Now, on his own, he only managed to get five. So how many would you have to add to make 11? Six. Are you sure? Yes! Excellent, Marara. How many passion fruit did the team bring you? Well, I love the energy. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six! six. Well done! <laughs> Congratulations, those are two. Now, five plus six is equals to 11 passion fruit. Well done, team. Now, the third one. Marara needed to get four oranges. On his own, he only managed to get one. Now, how many would you have to add for him to have four oranges? Three. Are you sure? Sure. Oh, very confident answer. Marara, how many oranges did the team bring you? Well, if I can count right, let me see. One, two, oh, three. Well done. 
That is absolutely correct. One plus three is equals to four oranges. Now this is the last one. It's a bit nervy. Now let's see, nine bananas. That was what was on Marara's shopping list. Now on his own, he only managed to get two bananas. So how many would you have to add for him to have nine? Seven. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, okay. That's a very confident one. Marara, how many bananas did the team bring you? Okay, let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, seven. <laughs> seven. Well done, team. <laughs> well, congratulations. And that is the final sum. Two plus seven is equals to nine bananas. Now, from what I can see, eight mangoes, check. Eleven passion fruit, check. Four oranges, check. Nine bananas, check. All four items, let's give them a round of applause. Very well done, number team, team leader, Kamau, please step forward. Here are some textbooks, here, move closer to me. Thank you, for you to take back to your school for a job perfectly done. Come on, show everyone at home. And that is not all, number team. You each get a storybook just for taking part. What's so, where? come, come, come. Ooh, that energy. They were fantastic. The confidence, you couldn't dare. Yeah, yeah there was yeah. no questioning it. I mean, I'm exhausted. I wonder what is coming up next. You know what? It's time for us to get uh, to something still as exciting. It's time for us to go to the creative zone. Hello and welcome to Creative Zone. Today we'll be creating some art. When I say the word art, what do you think of? Sometimes art can be about a picture of a person or an object, the way the artist sees it. For example, I have a painting of a tree the way I saw it and the colors that I express myself in. But sometimes, artists use colors and shapes to express their feelings. And we call it abstract art. In abstract art, the artist uses shapes, colors, and forms to express a feeling. When you look at the abstract art, Sometimes you do not understand what the artist intended, but we know the feeling from the use of colors and the shapes. So, today I'm feeling quite happy. So I'm going to mix a lot of bright colors to create the mood that I'm in. But sometimes I might also feel sad and use maybe some black and some dark blue to create a sad feeling. And you can see, I'm using a lot of freedom, circles and flowers to express myself. Next, I'm going to sprinkle. And that's my finished abstract painting. As you can see, it's not about any object, but it's about capturing my mood. So why don't you start creating your own abstract paintings. Remember, it's about what you feel and not what you see. So, there's no right and there's no wrong. Okay? That's all the time we had today. Until next time, bye-bye. Wow, I feel very creative. Do you feel the same? Oh yes, definitely. I definitely feel really creative. And for you watching us at home, we hope that you are enjoying all of the creative things you see on the Nose Zone. But right now, it's time for us to get creative with our words. Yes, so get your spelling caps on because it's time to see how many words you can spell correctly. It's time for... <laughs> spell it! <laughs> 
Animal. Animal. Chapter. Building. Narrow. Building. Respect. 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 Deep. Vegetable. Work. 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 Welcome to Spell It. Now this is the place where we play with our words and our letters. Marita. Njoguna. Njoki. And Wanja, you are about to step out of the shadows and into the spotlight to compete for the title of today's No Zone Spelling Champion. The winner of today's competition will win their school and No Zone Dictionary and a very special prize for themselves. Now, each contestant has just 25 seconds to spell correctly as many words as they can. If you would like a word repeated, simply say repeat and the word will be repeated for you. Are the rules clear? Yes! Thank you. All of today's words will be coming from our topic of what, Marara? The school. Oh, excellent. So it's a topic that we all know about. Now we'll start with you, Marita. It's your turn now. So come on down and step in the spotlight. School is cool. School is cool. Marita, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Time. T-I-M-E. Read. R-E-A-D. Exam. E X A M Chalk C H A L K Desk D E S K Playground P L A Y G R O U N D Ruler R U L E R All right. Well done, well done, well done. Well done, Marita. And now, Njuguna, it's your turn. So come on down and step in the spotlight. Njuguna, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Pen. P-E-N. Open. O-P. O-P-E-N. Pass. P-A-S. Store. S-T-O-R-E. Write. W R I T E Rubber R U W B E R Noise N O S E All right. Well Come on back. Come on back. All right. Njoki, it's your turn now, so come on down and step in the spotlight. School is cool. School is cool. Njoki, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Ring. R I N G. Hall. Pass. Stop. S T O P. Field. F I W L E D. Book. B O O K. Sharpener. Pass. Class. C L A W S. Principal. Pass. Right. Well done, Joki. Well done. Wanja, you are our final contestant, so come on down and step in the spotlight. Cool is cool. Wanja, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Bell. B E W -L, L. Shoes. S H O E S. Fail. F A I L. Door. D O O R. Close. C L O S E. Pencil. P E N C I L Compound Pass Games G A Time's up. Right. Well done, Wanda. Well done. Very well done, everyone. Now, Charlie. Yes. Please reveal the results. I will start with Marita. Marita, although you spelled the word ruler correctly, that's R U L E R. You ran out of time before you could finish the word. Nonetheless, you spelled six words correctly. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Juguna, you ran out of time spelling the word noise. That's N-O-I-S-E. You also spelled six words correctly. Joki, you spelt the word filled correctly. That's F I double L E D. However, the word that Janet asked you for was field. 
That's F-I-E-L-D. You also passed on the word principle. Nonetheless, you spelled four words correctly. <laughs> and finally, Wanja. Wanja, you passed on the word compound and ran out of time before you could spell the word games. Now, compound is spelled C-O-M-P-O-U-N-D and games is spelled G-A-M-E-S. Nonetheless, you spelled six words correctly. Oh, quite interesting, which means that the winners of today's Nose on Spelling competition are Marita, Njuguna and Wanja. Each of them will get to take this wonderful dictionary back to their school. So congratulations to you all. Come on everyone, let's give them a round of applause. And that is not all. You each get a storybook just for taking part. So come and get your storybooks. Come, come, come. That was actually quite cool. I mean, three winners. Those are three dictionaries. That's very nice. When was the last time we had that? Oh, it's been a while, it's, eh? It's been so long. But you know, uh, we need to move on to other serious stuff too. Yes, we do. Now let's go and join our friend as she talks to us about our health and our hygiene. It's time for Health Zone. Hello and welcome to the Health Zone. I'm Nurse Christine and I'm here to help you stay fit and healthy. Nurse Christine, what are you teaching us today? Well, Donna, today we are talking about our noses. What comes to your mind when I mention the nose? Smell? That's right. Our noses are very special and that's why we should take very good care of them. Is there anything in particular you'd like us to know though? Yes, our noses cleanse themselves every day with mucus. Mucus is a fluid that is produced inside our nose and it helps to trap dirt and any foreign body that gets in there. All you need to know is get rid of the excess mucus. Here you have a towel, let's just wet it and Melvin is going to show us just how to do that. Okay. So you just wet it with water. Uh -huh. um, Melvin, take this. You make sure you wipe the area around your nostril, each nostril like that, and then you just finish up like that. Don't go inside. Oh, okay. And that's it. That looks very easy. Now, Nurse Christine, what happens if I catch a cold and I have a running nose? Well, Janet, um, I know it's very tempting to blow your nose, but it's not advisable to blow your nose because blowing your nose can cause a nosebleed. So if you, your nose is running too much, just go and see a doctor who might give you medicine to help you. Oh, okay. I, I didn't even know that. It's all very important. Now, is there anything else you'd like us to know? Yes. There are other things that I would like you to know. Never poke your nose. It's unhealthy and very unpolite. And second thing, don't ever overblow your nose because this can cause a nosebleed. Hey, so what happens then if somebody gets a nosebleed? Well, first thing you should do is don't panic. Okay. Nosebleeds are very common and mm -hmm. it's very easy to treat them. I'm actually going to demonstrate here with Janet what you're supposed to do when you have a nosebleed. Get a tissue, a disposable one. Make sure that uh, you're sitting on a stool. Mm -hmm. Just sit your uh, head forward and pitch your nose. Uh, stay in that position for about five minutes. Mm -hmm. Uh, the reason why you're tilting your head forward is to make sure that the blood doesn't go back to the throat. Then after five minutes, just lose your tissue and see if the nosebleed has stopped. If it hasn't stopped, continue pinching your nose for about 20 minutes more. After that, just wipe your nose and you should be okay. Uh, let's say after 20, 30 minutes, the nosebleed hasn't stopped. What yes. should someone do? Well... If the nosebleed doesn't stop after 30 minutes, you should head to the doctor and the doctor should help you from there. Nurse Christine, thank you very much. I have learned so much. I think I should go get myself some tissues. Good idea, Janet. Just make sure they are disposable tissues. Okay. 
Okay, well, what have we learned today, Melvin? You should not poke your nose or blow it too hard. Very good, Melvin. And Janet? You should keep your, your noses clean and clean colored tissues in your pocket. Just make sure that they are disposable ones. Don't forget that, okay? Yes. Well, great. That's all we have today from the Health Zone. See you next time. Bye. I love being and feeling healthy. Yes, it is very important, Mariah. And it's also very important that we take care of our bodies. Now, did you find the information in Health Zone useful? Yes! Excellent. Now, you were really awesome company. We had so much fun with you guys. Did you have fun? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. And for you watching us at home, thank you so much for tuning in. Well, do not forget that we will see you right here next week. But for now, let's go and check out some very talented performers. <laughs> Yay! That must mean it is time for... Performance Zone. Until then, come on everyone, let's say goodbye. Bye! Bye. Thank you.